Hey guys, it's Ben here, and despite Virgil van Dijk's desire to join Liverpool, have Chelsea now jumped to the front of the queue to sign him? So the battle to sign the Dutch centre-back seems to have been narrowed down to a two-horse race. Liverpool thought they had the deal done earlier in the summer, only for them to have to withdraw their interest. And Premier League champions Chelsea remain interested. The word has pretty much stayed the same from all the Merseyside journalists that the Reds would go back in for him once the dust has settled. Klopp still wants the player. They're still looking to strengthen in defence, and he is the key target for them. On the other hand, Chelsea have obviously lost John Terry. They're about to sell Nathan Ake to Bournemouth for £20 million. Even Kurt Zuma's being linked with the move away. They're going to need at least one top centre-back to fill all those voids and Virgil van Dijk is their number one priority. They made an inquiry for Jerome Boateng apparently back in May. That's all gone quiet. Conte's looking for a reunion with Leonardo Bonucci but it looks like he wants to stay in Turin. So there aren't many options left for Chelsea and they're only obviously going to go for the elite players, the absolute best they can get and it looks like van Dijk has become number one. So this now comes down to three things. Who's going to be the highest bidder? We know that Southampton are looking for 65 to 70 million for the player. Will Liverpool actually pay that kind of sum? Will they actually be bold, be brave, do what they need to do, make a statement, fork up £65 million or £70 million, get it done, get the man, get the victory over Chelsea as far as winning the battle to sign this coveted player is concerned and really sort out that defence that's been so leaky now for so long. For Chelsea, spending £61 million isn't something that we'd be surprised about. Their transfer record is £50 million when they signed Fernando Torres from Liverpool. Looks like they're about to sign fullback Alexandro from Juventus for £61 million. They're being linked with Romelu Lukaku from Everton for about £80 million. So a £65 million pounds swoop for Van Dijk wouldn't really shock anybody if it was from Chelsea. Liverpool, they've just bought Salah for around 36, 37 million and even that's their record. So a move for Van Dijk would perhaps double that. And you've got the fact that Klopp's looking to buy Naby Keita from Red Bull Leipzig and he's going to cost up to 70 million as well. So in terms of spending money, you'd probably favour Chelsea. Number two is of course where the player wants to go. Now, it came out a couple of weeks ago that Klopp had had a meeting with Van Dijk in Blackpool and the two had spoken and Van Dijk had made his mind up. He wanted to play under the German, he wanted to play at Anfield. It was all set to go ahead, but of course Liverpool hadn't actually made a bid. Has Van Dijk's head been turned by the fact that Liverpool was so amateurish in their pursuit of him? Has it all bought Chelsea some time for Conte to convince him otherwise? Has he seen some of the other business Chelsea are doing? Alexandro, Bakayoko for Monaco looks like he's set to join. He might fancy a bit of that, they're the Premier League champions, they're only going to get better. We don't really know exactly why he wanted to play for Liverpool. Was it the money they're offering? Was it the fact of playing under Klopp? Was it Anfield? Was it the history of the club? We just don't know why he chose Liverpool and we don't know how far along he is in making up his mind. Is there any turning back for him or is his heart set on Merseyside? He wanted to go to Liverpool before so it would be a surprise if he completely changed his mind. I'm sure there is still an ounce of hope for Liverpool in that regard. And the third thing, of course, is who will Southampton rather sell to? And this is a no-brainer. We know they'd rather sell to Chelsea than Liverpool. The relationship between the Reds and Southampton is just absolutely on the floor right now. They may even rather sell to Chelsea for 65 million than Liverpool for 75 million. Now, who needs Van Dijk more out of the two clubs? Who wants him more? As mentioned, Chelsea have got rid of John Terry. They're going to sell Nathan Ake, Kurt going. They need a world-class centre-back, at least one, maybe two. Bonucci looks like he wants to stay at Juventus. Boateng's not going anywhere. Who else is left? Now, both clubs have been reported to have made a bid for Calderon and Koulibaly over the summer. Chelsea, more strong links. Liverpool, more tenuous. The likelihood is that even he's going to stay where he is. Liverpool have been linked with Stefan de Vrij from Lazio. Michael Keane, kind of, but even that's gone quiet. He's favourite to join Everton now. So the latest is that Chelsea, according to Damasio in Italy, were very close to signing Van Dijk, but there were some suggestions online that this was all a cynical ploy. Someone had fed that information to Damasio in order to to either speed the process up with Liverpool or to speed the process up with Koulibaly joining Chelsea from Napoli. Jonathan Tarr was a rumoured target for Liverpool in January but I'm not sure if that has anything to it. He's also only very young, he's 21 years of age. I'm not sure if he's a man that can lead the line at the back for the Reds. But this really does look like a straight fight between two clubs for one player and whoever misses out is really going to have to go down a peg or two in order to find the next best thing. If Liverpool do miss out on Van Dijk to Chelsea, who do they go for? Do they go for Michael Keane? Is that really a sufficient replacement? Do they go for Kula Bali? It's another African player. Can they afford for him and Matip to go away, especially with Salah and Mane and maybe Kaito as well? For Liverpool, this feels really make or break. Chelsea already have David Luiz, Gary Cahill, Aspilicueta, the back three that won them the league last season. Yes, they need cover there. Maybe they want to replace Aspilicueta and play him at fullback, but the foundations are pretty much there for them, whereas Liverpool really need somebody to step in and be a leader because it's been far too long 
long now where that hasn't been the case. Matip and Lovren are just both too injury prone for my liking. Two good players, two good centre backs. Lovren had an okay season, still a few mistakes here and there. Matip just couldn't stay fit. There is the injury concern with Van Dijk. He did miss most of last season, but he'll be back and ready for 2017 18. And I think it's crucial for Liverpool that they get him in at any cost. But if you're asking me for a prediction as to where I think Van Dijk will end up, based on all the information that we've got at the moment, based on Chelsea apparently putting in a bid, based on Liverpool still being interested, based on Southampton wanting to do anything they can to avoid selling to Liverpool. I think you have to put Chelsea as slight favourites. We know their spending power is superior to Liverpool. We know they've got more resources. We know they're the Premier League champions. They can pretty much do what they want. Having said this, I don't think Liverpool can afford to miss out on the Dutch defender. I don't think the alternatives are anywhere near good enough. You've got this man convinced that he wants to join Liverpool. He wants to play at Anfield. Liverpool must make this happen or they risk a huge backlash and they risk that defence still not being good enough to compete with the Premier League title, which they must do this season. Leave a comment with where you think Virgil van Dijk will end up. Do you think Liverpool can pull off what would be the most expensive deal for a defender ever? Can they fight off Chelsea and Conte who are desperate to sign him too? Can they convince Southampton to sell one more player to the Reds? And then we'll leave them alone. We'll leave them alone forever because that would be all of their good players taken away from them. We don't want Dusan Talic. We don't want Gabi Adini. We just want Virgil van Dijk. This needs to happen. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like and share the video for me and Follow me on my other socials, it's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time.